Hi, I'm Mackenzie and welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be reviewing the Michelle Mercier detangling brush and I saw this on TV the other day and I decided I wanted to review it. Um, I know that there's been multiple reviews on this and there's even been curly hair reviews but I personally just wanted to see how it worked and I thought I would film it. I just wanted to show you first what I usually detangle my hair with. It is a, I don't know if it's base or bass but um, it's one of these wooden brushes. You can get these at Walmart, Target, pretty much anywhere, your beauty supply store. Um, so the brush I typically use does not have that many bristles and they're pretty long. Um, before I go in with my paddle brush, I usually go in with a wide tooth comb. So I do not put a lot of strain on my curls. I also use this Kinky Curly Not Today detangling. Oh, natural leave-in detangler. And then I use a squirt bottle filled with coconut oil, rosemary, peppermint, castor oil. I think that's it. And I put that all into a water bottle and it is good for your hair and hair growth and it um, moisturizes your hair while you're detangling it. I am personally not a finger detangler. I don't like detangling with my fingers. It doesn't work very well with my hair. You're thinking that, you probably think that since my hair has loose curls that it's easy to detangle with my fingers. It is not. My hair gets super, super matted. So I will take this out of the package. This was $15 at Target. I'll link this below. Um, so I just wanted to show you the amount of bristles. This brush clearly has 10 times as much bristles as the brush I typically use. This brush claims that it smoothly massages the scalp by brushing. It's a quick detangler, it's a pleasant brushing experience, and it reduces hair loss and breakage. There's 428 bristle, bristles varying in height, which, which dispense the pressure placed on the hair during brushing. So the brush I have is for thick hair. My hair is actually not thick when it is straight, but I decided to get the thick hair one because my hair is curly, therefore, it makes it seem thick when I'm brushing it. I didn't want to get the one for thin hair, so I'm gonna try the thick hair one. And we're gonna do this. So typically I brush my hair by putting it into four sections. So I'll just put it in half right now. We'll work on the first section of my hair. So typically I would take my squirt bottle, make sure it's shaken up and spray my hair. Sometimes I don't even have to wet my hair because I'll come out straight out of the shower and just go to detangling. Um, but then there's other days where my hair is already dry and I want to detangle it and I'll do this. If you guys want to see a tutorial on different types of oils to put inside of your water for different things, there's some for hair growth, there's some for breakage, there's some for shine, there's some for like, there's just some for different things I can do a video on that. So now that my hair is wet, I'm going to apply my, actually I'm gonna take my ring off, and I'm going to apply this detangler about that much and break this through my hair. And that is typically all I do and then I can start brushing. So I'm scared, <laughs> to be honest. This is doesn't have very good grip and I have a lot of product on my hair so it's actually kind of hard to hold. So I'm just gonna hold it like this, I guess. Does, that does not sound good. Okay. Oh guys, that does not sound good. I don't typically brush like this, but I'm just gonna see if it can go through my hair without have to, nope, nope. I have to work. Just like any other brush, I would ha I have to work all the way down. That does not sound good. That does not sound good. <laughs> okay, I honestly don't even want to use this anymore. Just because of the sound. Okay, 
So this side is now detangled. The front is usually easy on my hair. It's the back that you gotta worry about. So I'm going to compare this brushing experience with the other side of my hair. And I'm just gonna show you guys how I do it with this brush. Okay, so typically I would comb through with the wide tooth comb like this and then I would go in with my other brush the reason I go through with a wide tooth comb and then a paddle brush is because I like the way my curls turn out with a paddle brush rather than a wide tooth comb I can also show you guys ways I make my curls look different using different types of brushes and different drying um, techniques so that could be another video. Just thinking of stuff, just thinking of stuff on the go. Now I just want to compare hair loss and then I'll get some from my paddle brush. It wasn't that much hair. It's like, it's like four, four strands. And this one, oh my gosh, it's a lot. Can you guys see that? I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't know, but it's a lot more hair. Okay, so now we're going to do the back and see how it turns out. I have some serious knots at my ends and it doesn't seem to want to comb through it. Oh, actually it got through them. It got through them. doesn't sound good but if my mom is watching this video she's going to cringe because she hates when I brush my hair and I pull okay it's getting through okay, I might put a timer on this actually I'm probably gonna put a timer on this to see how long it's taking me to get through this side versus the other side That's weird. There was just like a point where it just completely went through all my hair, like all at once. That was weird. It was like really hard to get through. And then all of a sudden I just felt it like get through it. Oh, I just wanted to show you guys. Um, there is a picture of a curly haired girl on the front with hair curlier than mine. So yes, it is made for curly hair too, or it's supposed to be. But let's see how fast I go on this side with my method. So using this paddle brush, about this much hair came out. It might look like a lot, but my hair is long, so it's raveled up. So about this much hair with the paddle brush, and about, oh, well, you can't really see, about this much hair with the Michelle Mercier detangling brush. So actually a little bit more came out with my technique. Oh, I didn't even grab the hair from my wide tooth comb. Only about two strands came out with that. So together, it looks about the same. I would say I lost less hair with the Michelle Mercier brush, which is kind of impressive. I don't know if you can tell the difference in curl pattern 
when I brush with the Michelle Mercier one versus mine. The curls actually look more defined on this side. All right, thank you for watching my review of the Michelle Mercier hairbrush detangler. Um, if you guys have any opinions, I'll let you guys decide which one worked better. So uh, if you could leave those down in the comment box, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.